So, um, I am out in the garage studio and I'm just going to do some things that I've learned while watching some videos. Videos are awesome. So, um, I have some papers here and I have had this gesso, gesso stuff for a while and I decided, well, I've watched some other mixed media people and I've decided to check it out. So I found some sheets of paper. This one here is an old jelly print and I just put some on there, but it was really kind of weird because it, like the color transferred, but I'm gonna check it out anyhow. Um, I also grabbed some papers that this is out of a Natural Awakenings magazine and I put some, you can kind of see the texture on there that I did. So we're gonna try some texture stuff. Um, I also have, this is, uh, our local newspaper that comes and I just put some gesso on here to see, to see how that works. Uh, I took a magazine and I gessoed over that with some thicker spots and some thinner spots to let the, uh, texture through. This is another, um another sheet uh, from my jelly plate fun and I just put a really light layer over this of the gesso so that's where we're starting with um, just to let you know I have some handmade stencils these are just some circles and I like circles a lot um, some plastic ones that I've cut in some basic shapes like stars and uh, triangles stars and triangles and circles I also have some store-bought ones that I'm going to be working with today. I also have in my piles, or my box here, is just some texture makers. From the things in the card to just things with texture on them. Actually, my favorite thing I was just fiddling with is this thing, which my husband told me was a grill cleaner. So, there you go, a grill cleaner. I have some clean water. I have a tray that I will be using as a palette since I'll probably pull out my um, acrylics. Uh, I have some paint brushes of the cheap kind. I think these are from a kid's set. Uh, I also have a palette knife and I think this was like a skewer from a, at a party I was at. Yes, I pick up everything. Uh, I also have some modeling paste because I watched a video on using that and I have some old school stencils here so I'm just going to be doing a bit of playing um, and just to see what I have. I have my cloth here also just for fun. I have an apron on because I think it'll be messy. So um, one of the things I was going to start with is getting some colors together just to work with and I think because all of these kind of have a blue green theme kind of going or have blue and green in them that I'm gonna stick to that except this one has red so we'll work in the complimentary but I'm gonna stick to the blue blue green and maybe a little red or orange just for sticking with color theory and things like that so I'm gonna set these aside a minute while I pull out some, oh, I also have some other things over here. I thought I'd try if I ran out, <laughs> which is just a little paper bag. I jelly printed and then another sheet with jelly prints on it. Hey, Ash. Hey, shut that door, please. Thank you. So I'm just going to go get my colors. Uh, I have a blue. I think there's a green around, but I don't know where it is. Oh, here's a green. I'm going to grab a white. White right here. It's already out. Some white. And then I'm going to see. I don't really want pink. Oh, is this poppy red? I'm going to take this one. Okay. <clears throat> So these are the colors I'm going to work with. I These here, 
I'm going to tell you, I'm not using anything expensive. Um, these here are just dollar store paints, acrylic paint. And since I'm just playing around, they will be fine. And I think that some of the jelly prints were made with these. So I'm going to use these. Um, this right here is a soft bodied acrylic from Dynamic Distractions. And actually, I really like these colors a lot. I've always really enjoyed using this brand. So those are two colors in Poppy Red and FOMO. FOMO? FOMO. 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 Something like that. And then I got a box of craft stuff and it had this white paint in it. So it's I'm not using anything fancy when it comes to that. So I'm just going to put those on my palette here. My makeshift. So there's a little blue... Green. This is the Danish poppy, it's called. So we'll put some of that in there. Ugh, I can't get the little stupid screw top back on. But I'm horrible about taking care of my paint, so hopefully you're better about it because I'm just like, er, whatever. So there's that, and this one's that FOMO. FOMO. Need to get it open. Oh, it's more of an orangey color, so we'll just put a little bit because I don't really want to use orange. And then I'm just going to give this a shake and put a, a white in there. And that's my color. See? Ooh, I'm just going to set that off to the side, but now you know what I'm working from. I also have a little bottle. Someday I'll get a bigger one of, uh, it's just water. Because some of these paints we're going to use heavier so um I'm oh and supposedly you can use watercolor on this too but uh, my watercolors are not out here so <laughs> we're not using those today so I'm just going to put some paint on here and the lady I just watched was like paint on both sides paint on both sides and just see how this looks this is the mat the uh, use paper with just some paint on it. She did all sorts of weird stuff, so I'm just going to kind of freewheel it here and add some more. But I have noticed that you can really see the texture of the paintbrush, paintbrush strokes in the gesso here, like when I put the paint down. So that's kind of fun. I'm just going to add a little white to it. Get a little different shade color there. Ooh, look at that. So there, it's a nice, fun little thing. We can, she said underside, so under it. I don't know what that means, but here we go. Under it. <laughs> and mix some white in. Ooh, la, la. Look at that. Well, that's kind of fun. I don't know. Gasso's kind of fun. I've never really used it before, have you? And these, she was making background. She was a scrapbooker of sorts. I got too much water. I'm going to pour some of my clean, dirty water in like that, just so there's a little bit, just so my brushes don't get all wonky, even though they are just cheap brushes. So I'm going to set that one aside a minute. And on this one, I kind of smeared the gesso around with a palette knife a bit. And this is on the uh, Natural Awakings magazine, which is like, it's more like a newspaper, but they're a little bit thicker. So, and on this one, I'm going to try... I try to get my brush clean because, oh, look at what happened. See, this is what happened when you put your brushes too far in the water. This one just lost its mind. It lost itself. So I'll be going there back together. Thankfully, they're just cheapies, right? So I'm going to grab some of this blue, I think, and I just want to... How does that work on here? She also later tried... Um, she took this... She called it her inky binky, but I think that's kind of weird. Ooh. Let's see how that works on this. So well, that's kind of fun, isn't it? What if we get it really watery? She was watering them up a lot, but she was using a heavy body paint. So that's different than my soft bodies here. I do have some heavy bodies, but they're kind of boring colors. So what's this? This is a little bit lighter. I feel like all my paints are kind of drying out. I don't know squish it in there. All right. So, that in there. Oh, 
Oh, I wonder where that alcohol bottle went. I have rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle also. So, I don't know what the water squirting did, but why not? I was thinking about rubbing alcohol. But I do like the way, ooh, look at that, it did take something away, didn't it? I do like the way that around the gesso you get some shading and stuff. That's really, really cool. So I'm just going to set this one aside a minute. Oh wait, I want to add something too. Well, I'm going to set it aside because I think I want to add red to it. This does, if you look, kind of have a red shade in the background. So I'm going to leave that. But look at how cool that is with that shading in there. Hmm, I like that a lot. Okay, and this is the magazine page. Maybe I will go in and get my, my watercolors. Now I'm kind of feeling like I should have them. And I want to... Well, we can use this watery brush up here, maybe. Let's just do it. Ooh. There we go. Oh, that's kind of fun, isn't it? There in the blues. Oh, what's it doing over here? Hmm. So, here's that. I'm going to use my brush thing here again. And I, oopsie, I would like to have a watery or red these beautiful tiles. I guess those tiles kind of have an orange to them too. More of an orange tint. So just to get some color variation in there. I'm going to grab a little of that orange with it. So here. Oh, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Tell I still have some blue on my paintbrush because I'm getting a purple color. But, you know, we're going to go with it because why not? But this is just an experiment to see how these new techniques I learned work. I haven't really experimented a lot with acrylics and their uh, tools, so this is kind of a new thing for me. And I know, probably not that exciting for you, but that was really kind of fun. I'm going to pause the video a minute and I'm going to run and get some watercolor and see what we can do. Wait. Ooh, I might not have to. I might have what I need right here. I guess that pays to keep all your stuff here. Oh, no, those are gouache. Okay, I do have watercolor here. They're not the... That's not watercolor. They are not the normal watercolors I use, so I'm not really sure how well their colors will go, but we're going to give it a go. So I have two kinds in here, but there's a Prussian blue. What blue do they call this? Prussian blue will use this one. I don't even push up on my things the right way. I am like the worst artist ever. Um, so if you're really picky about that sort of stuff, don't ever, ever, ever let me borrow your stuff because I can't do it. And I'm not saying that to be mean to myself. It's just what it is. I thought I'd find a nice red in here or something, a green. We'll use this green. This is sap green. Um, but there isn't a red that I'm happy with. So what's this? Crimson Lake. But, oh, that feels stiff. What's this? Crimson Lake. It doesn't even look red on the wrapper. Look at that. It looks brown. So I'm going to try those ones. And I'm going to look for another palette for them. I think I have one. Usually I have, oh look, these will work. Oh dear me, they're a mess, maybe not. I thought I had fixed one. Well, I'm only using a handful of colors and somebody will be like, oh, you're being so wasteful, but I may use these plastic cups instead and just call it good. It's fine and good. It'll be all right. So the next thing we're going to try is watercolors. And I have, like this one is the one I really wanted to try with. So I'm going to squirt up. Oh my dear Lord. This is so embarrassing. <sighs> Sorry, you got to wait through me struggling to get my crap open because they have glue, you know, because I don't take care of this stuff. So lesson learned. Lesson to you, however you want to say that. So I'm just going to put some in there. Where's my squishy, squishy squirt bottle? I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do that, but right now that's working for me. Oh, come on. Just give me one more. Okay, good. Whew. 
I thought I was going to be super crazy embarrassed, but yeah, probably still. I should probably be way better with my stuff than I am, but it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to try this one one more time. Not that one. This one one more time. See if I can get a good grip on it and see if I can get it open. I probably. Oh, I got it. Alrighty. And so we've got a nice red. Oh, airplane flying over. We're out here in the country. I don't live near the airport really. The local airport. It's not internet. I don't know what it is flying over us, but it's pretty low, it sounds like. Okay, so I don't know, I grabbed another Crayola brush. I'm not using anything fancy on this, and I'm just gonna mix. I wanna try this red, really. I think it's kinda cool. So I wanna see what watercolors will look like on the gesso, right? So here is some watercolor, and it's not wet, you know. Look at the difference as I cross over onto the uh, blue that didn't get any of the gesso. So that's kind of fun. It has a nice difference in layers and textures and things like that. So I'm just blur, 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 I don't know. Checking it out. We'll probably let that dry. Look at that. That's kind of cool too. But this is all watercolor. This isn't really watercolor paper I'm working on. So you're probably going, Leslie, it's not watercolor paper. And I'm like, I oh, know. And yet, here we are. So we're going to leave that as that. Like, whoa, look at that. That's cool. And then I got this pinky green one. And this one, I kind of like this one. Um, but I need another stir. Let's go grab something out of here. What do I got? What do I got? Okay, I'm going to use... <laughs> here we go. This is what I found. I'm going to use this for my green. Why not? And again, oh, that's not nice. Just mixing, mixing it up with the water, so it's nice water colory. And this, remember, this page just has the gesso on it very lightly. I really don't want to lose a lot of that, so I'm just gonna. Oh, look at how the brush prints these put in. That's really fun. I think this is again not watercolor paper. This is just cartridge paper. So, printer paper, if you prefer, with gesso over it. There's acrylic under it also, so. And I'm actually going to take this again, and maybe this edge here, for some reason, seems very... I'm going to try to put a little bit more in there, maybe? This is just some textures. I don't know. Just playing. Like in my last video, talking about playing. This is what I mean. I'm just trying it out. Will I use this texture later? Do I like it now? I'm not sure, but... You know what? We're playing. Ooh, this is going to be nice goopy water. Get a little bit more water on there. Does it run on this? How is that running? I don't know. Oh, look, it does run on the one side. So we'll let it go because you just never know what texture you might find in there later that you think is really pretty groovy. Groovy. Okay. So that's another one that we did something upon back to this. This is, oh, it's got water on it. Oh, it's not quite dry yet. Do we have another one that is dry? Oh, are you dry? Not yet. So, we're not dry yet, so I'm going to take a break, and then, uh, we'll